Well, I'm back. Back from the Philippines. Had an awesome vacation. Stayed in the Philippines for a whole month. So if you want to see videos of me in the Philippines, go to my other YouTube channel, which is Roberto Godfrey. That's G-O-D-F-R-E-Y. But we're not here to discuss my trip in the Philippines. We're here for another unboxing video. And tonight we're going to be unboxing the Hoover Cyclonic Corded Stick Vacuum. Picked it up yesterday for a hundred bucks on sale and it normally goes for 130 so not too bad this is I owned a cordless version um, about two years ago but I never owned a corded version so I wanted to try the corded version so here's a manual pretty simple straightforward it's basically like a pamphlet map style Instruction manual. Eh, you got Spanish, probably French. Right here you got the uh, English, English side. There you go. Uh, put it to the side, I'm not gonna need it. Packaging. And here's the unit itself. Okay. Of course, it's gonna close on you. And here's the box. So here's the front of the box. Side back and the other side hmm. so here's the what's it called the handle comes in this protective <clears throat> scratch prevention tape and it comes with this too uh, more protection Okay, so it comes with a screw. Now I don't have a screwdriver on me right now, so I'm gonna have to pause the video to assemble it. But just gonna need one screw, pretty simple. The quality mm, it feels a little cheap, but for a hundred dollar vacuum, you know, can't expect too much. This also kind of feels cheap. This feels like it could break off any any day, but I'm sure it's easy, easily replaceable. Not sure who will probably sell that piece for five bucks or so, hopefully. And da -da 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 -da. Mm, packaging. Lots of packaging. <clears throat> okay. And here's the nozzle itself. Yeah, lots of packaging. We're probably gonna be here for about 10 minutes unpackaging this. We have a protection film. I'm gonna do a comparison after this video. I'm probably gonna make another, um, uh, not really an unboxing video, but a comparison video comparing the Hoover Cyclone corded with the Bissell Turbo Featherweight, which I believe I reviewed before this video. So that video should be coming out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, here's the unit. So the power head, you are able to turn it on or turn it off. You got some Pretty nice, decent wheels. They are rubbered. They are rubberized. And you have like a metal axle, which is very good quality. You could use this nozzle for the floors or for carpeting. Um, the small little wheels here are also rubberized, so pretty good quality. The brush, the brushes are basically design where they go inside so they're gonna push all the dirt into the middle and that's what a suction nozzle is right there in the middle and ooh, let's not break this but yeah okay and this piece swivels and you got two connectors here for the button control on the main nozzle quality feels quality feels good I like the quality on that. Feels pretty decent. And, and here's the main unit. <clears throat> of course, 
we have more protection packaging. So we'll get that out of the way. It's like a medium gray, and then you have like a sparkly glitter type of gray. So, yeah. Um, let's assemble the unit. I'm pretty sure you just snap it. I don't want to break it though. I'm on the vacuum this way. Okay. Okay. I think we're making progress. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, there's the unit. The cord is, you get a nice quality cord, which is unfortunately um, twisty tied. So, we need 30 seconds to get this out. Um, that cat absolutely loved these, but she's, I don't know where she's at, she's probably in the basement. The cord is about 24, if I can remember, on the specs. Nice quality cord, feels pretty thick. Um, hmm. No ground, but not really need of these type of low amp appliances, and you get a little protection cap. Not gonna need that anymore. <coughs> and yeah, this is basically the unit. Um, here's a canister. You press a button, opens it, you get a really nice quality gasket. So no dirty air will be escaping. Then here you get a, how do you, yeah, just like that. This is a filter holder. And this is the filter itself. Basically just a simple foam filter. Then you get another gasket here around the filter. So no dirty air goes into the motor. These filters are cheap. You could buy like uh, a set of them off Amazon for like, 10 bucks, you get like six or so. So very, very cheap and they are washable, so you can always reuse it. <coughs> and that just goes like that. And yeah, you get another gasket here. So the unit is actually built pretty good. Now let's attach the handle. So. I'm gonna pause the video because I do need I do need a screwdriver which unfortunately is in the basement. But basically how you get this, can you guys see? Let's move the back mark, yeah. You get it, you put it down. <coughs> and the screw. Hmm. Which is in here. Yeah, pretty long and hefty. Basically goes back here on the unit. Yeah, so we're gonna need a screwdriver, so be back. Alright, we're back. We got us off our trusty old Phillips screwdriver. So let's screw in this screw. <laughs> and when you're screwing into plastic, you know, you never, you never want to screw it in super, super tight. You just want to screw it in snug, because if you screw it too tight, you will strip the threads. So, I believe the vacuum is fully assembled. Um, <coughs> it has... I wouldn't say two speeds, but two modes. It has off, bare floors, and brush. So, yeah, you put it in the middle. You're only gonna get bare floors. 
If you put it all the way down, it's going to be good for um, your carpets because the brush will, will spin. And the bunny feels, or the switch feels decent quality. Now this does lock, so can you guys see the box? Hmm. Yeah, this does lock, so you can vacuum and then the lock, so you can actually use the wheels for transportation. Like I said, the cord is about um, 20 foot, so the cord is decent. What is that? I don't know what's a cord. I'm about six foot tall, and the handle is very comfortable. It's decently nice and high. So let's do a sound test. Let's see how loud the unit is with the brush roll off and then the brush roll on. So let's plug it in. Let's get this little night light out of the way. Yeah, sound test. Hmm. I remember I owned a cordless version. It wasn't too loud, it was actually pretty quiet, so let's see how loud this version is, the quarter version. So brush roll off. <laughs> Yeah, with the brush roll off, it's pretty quiet. <coughs> it's not the loudest vacuum I've used by any means, but I have used um, a quieter vacuum, which is my Makita canister vacuum, which you could find like uh, on, the, on my other unboxing videos, probably about 10, 15 videos down. But yeah, that vacuum is super quiet, but this one is also quiet. And exhaust, all the exhausted air comes through these little grills, which is good because when you're vacuuming behind you, it's exhausting from the sides. It's not blowing directly at you, making your job any harder. Like yeah, more harder and more annoying. So that's good. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's do brush roll on. Let's see how loud that is gonna be. So prior to making this video, I did vacuum the carpet using the Bissell February Turbo Vacuum Cleaner. And it didn't, it's not really going to pick up much because the carpets are, should be cleaned. But yeah, it's very easy to push on carpet with the brush roll on. It's really not too loud. It's not like you need hearing protection or anything. It's pretty quiet. Um, let's see. Let's put this in storage mode, which is basically um, putting the cord away. But it shouldn't take too long because the cord is only 20 foot, so you should have the cord fully stored in about 20 seconds. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. The cleaning width on the head here, um, I think it's 10 inches. Technology removes embedded dirt, blah, 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 blah. No, I think it's 11 inches, actually. I do think the cleaning width 
of the head is is 11 inches which is pretty decent and unlike the Bissell um, Feverweight Turbo which only comes with a one year warranty for 40 bucks more um, you get the Hoover Cyclonic which is this one and you get a two year warranty so you get an extra year warranty with the Hoover but yeah hmm. and the model number it's in the video title description but that's the model Ooh, it's tricky too okay there we go that's the model so yeah nice vacuum I'm gonna enjoy vacuuming unfortunately my house is pretty clean so I'm gonna have to wait for the cat to make more of a mess with her hairballs but yeah there you go hopefully you guys enjoy the video and if you guys have any questions or if I forgot something just let me know in the comments and I'll try to reply to you guys as soon as possible so yeah good night and yeah go to my YouTube channel Roberto Godfrey G-O-D-F-R-E-Y and you can watch like 20-25 um, videos I've I uploaded a me and my girlfriend in the Philippines, so hopefully you enjoy them. Philippines, Manila, Dimagetti, and Cebu, if I, if I remember. Oh yeah, okay, good night.